Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about differentiation, and we're going to talk about the power constant in sum rules. We're going to differentiate each function with respect to x. So if I was given this function, y equals 3 over x to the third power, okay? Well, there's a few ways you can go about this. I'm going to show you what one of my techniques I like to do. Before I just hop in and start driving, what I like to do is to rewrite this function or where there's no fractions that's possible, or just bring all the x's, you know, uh, the variables to the numerator. So to do that, I can write this as 3x to the negative third power, okay? So 3 over x to the third power is the same thing as 3 times x to the negative third power. But what that allows me to do now is, um, I, it's easier for me to see the power rule here. So now when I take my derivative, dy dx, the power comes out front, negative 3 times, 3x to the negative 3, and we subtract that exponent by 1, negative 3 minus 1. Okay, so now we can simplify, all right, we can simplify this. So dy dx is equal to negative 3 times 3, which is negative 9. <coughs> negative 9, x to the negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4 power. Now, again, I would then rewrite it down, have a positive exponent. So uh, bring the x to the negative 4th, I put that in the denominator, make x to the positive 4th, so our final answer is dy dx is negative 9 over x to the positive fourth power, and there we go, okay? So, long story short, basically, when I'm doing the power rule, I like to have my x's in the numerators, but then I don't mind if it's negative exponent, I find it easier, but then at the end, I have to rewrite it to um, make it uh, where x, uh, the, uh, the exponent's positive, and so it's 1 over, you know, or negative 9 over x to the positive fourth power. So let's recap our steps here. We have y equals 3 over x to the third power. I rewrote that to be 3 times x to the negative one third power, and I find it's easier for me to solve uh, or simple or derive using the power rule like that. Okay, when it's all on the numerator, or the exponent, or the power specifically. Then I brought the negative 3 out front, use my power rule, and then negative, uh, the add exponent I subtracted by 1. Okay, I simplified negative 3 times 3 was negative 9. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. So now I bring that exponent back down with the variable. So in doing so, I get my final answer, which is dy dx is equal to negative 9 over x to the positive fourth power. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, the creator of Minute Math. And if you like this video, please hit